There is nothing more iconic than this video that you're seeing right now, Niagara Falls and all its glory. And uh, down here, we're talking about this morning on Morning Live here about the Winter Festival of Lights, 40th year about this. And with us to talk about it is our old friend Janice Thompson, President and CEO of Tourism here in Niagara. So uh, for people who may not know too much about the Festival of Lights, maybe they've heard about it, right. never took part, Give me an overview of what goes on here. Yeah, Steve, it is an amazing event. We are so proud of this festival overall. It has over 3 million lights all throughout the Niagara Parks area here, mm -hmm. up into Falls View, up to Lundy's Lane, the downtown area of Niagara Falls. There are lights all throughout the city. It's a great celebration of lights. We have 75 individual displays, beautiful things that people have come to love over the years. They come back to see their old favorites. That's right, and not only just the old favorites, but there's always something new, a new wrinkle that's thrown in here uh, just to make it more enticing for those who've been around for a while to come back again. So what is, what is new for this year? Well, you'll see over in front of the power plant, the Niagara Parks Power Plant, station yes. that there is a lit tunnel that is really beautiful it's captivating for people there is our new royal promenade over by the niagara city cruises area we have the enchanted forest we have the frosty illuminated sign where you can take a selfie we have all these wonderful interactive displays and we also have different ways of enjoying the festival itself you know, previously we've said you can drive, you can walk, you can see the lights from the window of a hotel or right. a restaurant. But this year we also have two new items on offer. One is from Niagara Helicopters. You can actually fly on a night flight over the falls. Wow, on that would be tour. awesome. Would it, it would be fantastic, <laughs> right? And the other option is to go with Niagara City Cruises on an evening boat tour to see the lights in all their glory from the boat. Awesome. Well, I think we should toast this new festival, 40th edition. Let's go over here because Let's it's see. already pretty much made. So what have we got here? We have, what is this called? This is something else new. This is our hot chocolate trail. Hot chocolate trail is and something new as well. throughout the city of Niagara Falls, we have 17 different locations offering 23 options for hot chocolate. They're all different. Some are non-alcoholic, some have alcohol in them. Okay, so, so you grab one and I'll grab the other one and we'll oh. do a quick toast here. Okay. Way to go guys, thank you for this. This is lovely, thank you. Super duper, get that on there. Very okay, nice. Janice, here we go. Cheers, Steve. 40th anniversary, Winter Festival of Lights. It's gonna be a great winter. We are back here in Niagara Falls and we're talking about the 40th edition of the Winter Festival of Lights. And when you come to the Winter Festival of Lights, you are going to see the Misty Kids here. Brought them in today to show you, introduce you to them, make sure you say hi to them when you're out and about. Now then, i got to leave you two alone because uh, you guys got to get ready for the next number of days because we're already in the Festival of Lights. Started already and we'll go to February the 20th. So thank you both for coming in today with us. I want to bring in Jewel, who's the chairman of Niagara Falls uh, tourism and uh, you've got a lot of things on the go and uh, one of your hats here in Niagara Falls is working with with tourism so to give us an idea of some things that you want to highlight for this festival that uh, people can come and attend for the next uh, 40 nights you know Steve there's so much going on uh, it's hard to get it all into one quick little bit like we're gonna have but uh, we have entertainment happening with the Misty Kids and we have jugglers and clowns and magicians and all kinds of things happening both here at the Crown Plaza where we are today as well as uh, the several other locations throughout the city. So go to winterfestivallights.com and you'll see it all. Okay, so there's there's lots of new things going. We talked a little bit earlier uh, about some some of the new wrinkles in it. And uh, again, this is this is something that's going to start to people are looking for things to do now. Uh, now that they're sort of in, out of COVID, more or less, uh, for a lot of people now, and getting back into uh, normal life, whatever that means for people. But the, the Festival of Lights has sort of been there every year for 40 years, and uh, it must be really exciting to be part of this. You know, I've been part of this for at least 30 years, and it's been a fantastic event. It's grown over, over time. We have a new light show on the falls coming this year, which everybody has to check out uh, as part of the Winter Festival of Lights. We have new displays, new areas that we're, we're, we've added it on to it's just going to be 40 nights of lights okay now if people want to get more information is there a website to, to check out you can go to uh, the Niagara Falls tourism website or the winterfestlights.com wfol.com and you'll get all the information you need 
Okay, we're sounds like go. a good idea. We're gonna move on, but at one of the neat things about this year is there's a chocolate trail, and we were at one a little while ago, and we've got another one set up here right now. Now, Niagara Brewing has, uh, and also Ripley's, believe it or not, have made us some more chocolate to try here. Again, it's a, a case of you can have some with some alcohol in it, some without alcohol. It's a family affair here, so you can try all kinds of things. I'm told there's 20, Irene, was it 20 places, 20 different kinds of hot chocolates? over 20 all over the place here so uh, it's just a, an awesome opportunity here to enjoy hot chocolate and certainly with the weather that we're going to have by the looks of things at least in the next 10 or so days uh, we're going to need some hot chocolate as well low calorie high in fiber i can see it right now isn't that right isn't that what you specialize in this one right a here messy too. and a little messy too i better get a spoon i better use a spoon so joel too, too bad we don't have a smell vision because these you can smell the chocolate <laughs> i mean it just smells okay. delicious all right, Joel, let's test this, uh, t uh, let's toast this as well in uh, celebrating the 40th anniversary and edition of the Winter Festival of Lights here in Niagara Falls. I think I, so got, the, I, think I got the bigger one. That's okay. <laughs> I gotta watch Jeez. my, cost me watch my waistline anyway. Okay, we're gonna be back a little bit later on to talk more about the Winter Festival of Lights here in Niagara Falls, so please join us. While Delicious, we cheers. This. Cheers, Steve. But what I want you to do is picture this. All these seats here in the middle, back here till maybe about here over the next few days will be gone. I would not want that job to get rid of all these seats and move them around because there's the ice going in for the Christmas ice show and it's just going to be a fabulous time. And to talk a bit about that, we have Richard Taylor, who's a president of uh, Niagara Casinos. Uh, grabbed him out of his office for a couple of minutes just to uh, tell us a little bit about the exciting things that are going on here inside as part of the Winter Festival of lights. So yeah. tell us a well, bit about that. Well, it's great to be here, and you're right, we have all kinds of exciting events coming up, and, 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 and obviously the Christmas on Ice show is, uh, is, is one in the forefront. It's a fan favorite. Our customers love this. Uh, we haven't been able to hold this, uh, you know, since uh, 2019, so we're extremely excited to be able to bring this back. Uh, it's going to be an exciting show, and you're right, we convert this into an arena. There will be a multi-tiered uh, ice rink right here. It's just incredible the, uh, the work that the team does to be able to bring this thing to fruition, uh, and we're very, very excited about it. Uh, the event runs from November 24th to December 9th, and for the first time ever, it's going to be open to all ages. So we're excited to bring all the families here, uh, but anybody 12 and under are going to have to be accompanied by an adult. I see. And how do people find out more about uh, the event, uh, who's going to be there, what the theme is, tickets, all that kind of stuff? Yeah, so that'll all be on our website. So all that information will be there. And uh, the performers are, you know, national championship uh, quality ice skaters and professional dancers and sing singers. And it'll be a very, very exciting show. Okay. I also want to also want to mention the fact you not only have this theater, the Avalon, but also the OLG theater, which is even bigger, I'm told and uh, kind of neat here. And there's all kinds of new kinds of entertainment going on because a lot of people just equate, a lot of people just equate, you know, Niagara Falls with the falls, but there's also all kinds of great entertainment here as well. Yeah, exactly. And we're so excited that we've just opened up our 5,000 seat entertainment center, the OLG stage at Fallsview Casino. And it is the largest soft seat venue uh, theater in all of Canada. And we're just so pleased to be able to open that. Uh, and uh, we've opened up uh, in October with the Lumineers, with, with Live, um, with Canada's Got Talent, and all of those events have gone over extremely well, been very well received by the performers as well as uh, our customers as well. So we're very excited about uh, opening that up as well. Okay, and once again, for people who want to see you know, what's going on down there, not just the casino part, but the, what's the entertainment, how do they find that as well? So again, all of that information is on our website. All of the upcoming uh, events, uh, all of that is, is listed there. So. So we have uh, uh, Billy Joel. We just announced uh, yesterday that we're going to be uh, hosting Billy Joel for our grand opening. So, you know, who doesn't love Billy Joel? So it's going to be an exciting way to open the theater. It's going to be great for the community, great for our business. We're just so excited to be able to host Billy Joel here. And as far as I know, it's going to be the only uh, performance that he's going to do in Canada uh, in 2023 that I'm aware of. So That's awesome. Yeah. All right. Okay. I just want to see, I'm going to want to see this ice rink put in here when it's all done. So anyway, thanks for your time. It's a fabulous uh, opportunity for people to get involved with the Winter Festival of Lights and be a little on the warm side yeah. as well. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Well, hello there, big guy. We are at the Americana Water Park Resort in Niagara Falls, and we're talking about all the neat things involved today uh, on our morning live about the 40th anniversary or 40th edition of the 
Winter Festival of Lights. And as we talked about before, not everything is outdoors. You can uh, come up by the fire here at the Maracana, warm up just a little bit, have a hot chocolate or whatever beverage you want. But uh, again, there's all kinds of neat things going on. And uh, we've dragged out of his office Lauren, <laughs> who's the director of marketing here, who's worked really hard uh, getting things ready. So tell us a little bit about your involvement with this big event. Well, Steve, thank you for visiting us today. And I just want to uh, tell you how excited we are to be partnering with the uh, Festival of Lights this year. Uh, they did approach us. We uh, just seemed like a perfect fit with us, with our, our uh, uh, programming that we already have here and the market that we already have here. Uh, we're an indoor water park resort. We deal with a lot of young families and, and uh, a lot of kids uh, running around here uh, this time of year. Uh, and the Festival of Lights has uh, approached us about bringing some great programming with uh, some story time and some uh, balloon animals and face painting. And they're going to be here for 40 nights over the uh, course of the next uh, month or so, uh, particularly over the holidays. Uh, we have a bunch of programming that we run here as well. So we have a, a bunch of events going on and characters and of course the water park uh, that's going on. Uh, the big draw here will be the big the draw for the kids. And correct, uh, yeah. so, so if people want to find more information about what's going on here at this place, where do they go? Well, you can certainly go to our website, uh, americananagra.com. I know the Winter Festival of Lights as well at uh, wfol.com uh, has uh, some information. Um, of course, yeah, or you can call us and come visit us uh, during the holidays. And I presume you'll be really busy because people want to get out and do stuff. There, there is. There's uh, been, a, you know, over the last couple of years, there's been a bit of pent up demand, and uh, certainly uh, people are ready to come back out and, and have some fun again. And, and we're looking forward to a, a great holiday season, and uh, particularly over the over the Christmas break. Uh, again, we have a full slate of activities going on with Winter Festival Lights and our own programming. A uh, little rumor that Santa Claus might be visiting us uh, the week before ah, Christmas as well. So. so check the website for that as well. Yeah, correct. But, uh, yeah, we're excited to be uh, again with a uh, partnership with the festival.